twist of this election, Wisconsin voters now have to show a photo ID to cast a ballot. Jonah Kaplan live with us now, and how's the voting going so far, Jonah? Well, Carol and Steve, we're here at Manitoba Elementary School in the city's south side. And you can see there's actually a fair amount of people here. In fact, this polling station, they've crossed the 20% threshold, which is pretty good news considering it's a primary election. You mentioned that photo ID requirement for voting. It has caused some issues. There are 195 polling stations in Milwaukee. Every single one of them has this red and white sign hanging at the entrance. The statewide rules have been set for nearly a year now. And face it, you have to have a photo ID and identification every time you go to the doctor's office. So it's not like, oh, it's such a surprise. Lois Cummer showed her Wisconsin's driver's license. Other voters brought their passports, a DOT issued ID, or military ID card. The law requires the photo to reasonably resemble you, and the name does not need to be an exact match of what's registered. Not an issue here. No, none whatsoever. The bigger picture wasn't so clear for other voters, even those who thought they were following the rules. I've been vetted from the government as actually, they ran a criminal background check on me, they fingerprinted me, you know, they know that I'm a U.S. citizen. Scott Slasky, a Navy veteran, now works at the VA. This ID has his photo, a microchip, and must be renewed every two years. Still, the VA ID doesn't meet the requirements for Wisconsin's current voting laws because they define military as active members in uniform. There's a lot of disenfranchised veterans that are living under bridges and, and don't have a home. Uh, there are people in the hospital that, that could easily vote before, and now they have to jump through hoops in order to try to, to be able to vote, and I think that's wrong. Now, the point is that military ID has to be issued by a department of the military. For instance, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force. It can't be issued by the Department of Veterans Affairs. Now, the polls close at 8 o'clock, so you have about three more hours to come down here to places like Manitoba Elementary School. Some of the acceptable IDs, again, Wisconsin's driver's license, a passport, or a college ID from a college university in Wisconsin. We've got all the information on our website, tmj4.com. We are live this evening on the city's south side. Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. Always some confusion the first time out. Jonah, thanks.